We need some outside universal threat to make us recognize this common bound. If we were facing an alien threat from outside this world. What's going on you guys? It's Eric and Mike from the Animal Aliens. Today we're here to talk to you about muscle dysmorphia and steroid use. So, muscle dysmorphia, it's a psychological disorder where you're actually, you're, you're obsessed with getting a really muscular body, so... Freaking crazy. Yeah, basically a lot of people, a lot of natural athletes, natural lifters, they, the you know, progress is much slower, so some people, they decide to hop on steroids, and actually can have a really negative effect on your body image, and Eric will get into that a little bit more. So, a lot of the times in the gym, you'll see dudes who consistently see their progress, first year is awesome you see a lot of gains second year it's oh, there's a lot but it's a little bit more specific you don't get as much muscle and then you start to slow down what happens is you get really discouraged so maybe your bench press is stuck in a plateau your squat your deadlift your whole body image like you don't see yourself getting leaner because the progress you make is so freaking small after a certain amount of time that you don't see it unless you take a picture once and then look at it again another three months down the road you can't see the difference on a daily basis so it really messes with your body image yeah, that's a really important thing that he mentioned. See, you see yourself every day. So when you look in the mirror, it's really hard to notice changes, especially when they're small and happen over a much longer period of time. So that's when a lot of people, they get discouraged, like Eric said. So they, ended up, they end up popping on some gear or whatever, or whatever kind of increased testosterone supplement or something to really speed up results. And the specific thing about steroids and muscle dysmorphia is it's a really negative correlation because once you use steroids, if you go off them, you're going to lose those gains. So your obsession, then you have to go back on them. And it's just pretty much an endless cycle. And it, this is a real disorder. Like they actually have like, they say it's a mainly for depression. So they like literally give you depression medicine, mm -hmm. like to try to like fix this problem. So it's like a real thing. Think about it. It's a drug. And if you're taking steroids and you're addicted to steroids, you're addicted to a drug that means you have a problem. Uh, unless you were using it to compete, which we won't even get into that subject right now, but if you're using it and you have no specific you know, goal, like you're not a professional bodybuilder, you're not a professional powerlifter, like whatever you are, if you're just a guy who's concerned with his body image and you're taking steroids, then you may or may not need help. I mean, great. If you, if you want to look that way, fine. I'm not going to tell you it's wrong, but for the general person, just be the best you can be on a natural level because at the end of the day, you're going to be a lot more happy with who you are and you're going to feel better inside and you're going to be a lot healthier. So, so that's just, we just wanted to make a quick video about exactly that muscle dysmorphia and steroid use. It's a really negative cycle and, well, key one words, whatever it's called. Cycle, steroids. Cycle. Uh, but, Cycle. Um, so yeah, so basically muscle dysmorphia is a real disorder and it's something that a lot of people actually really need help with. There's a big difference between like being obsessed with lifting, being the best you can be, but there's also, there's a point where you, that you can cross and it gets a little too, it becomes literally a medical condition. Yeah. So, hope you guys like this little discussion. We just want to have a little brief topic and discuss it with you guys and let, let, us, let us know what you think in the comments. Yeah. Well, let us know if you had a personal experience or know anyone that has hopped on gas because they were super insecure about themselves. Uh, personally, if I was going to do it, I'd probably just pump some synthol straight into my calves. But that's besides the point. I won't do that for real, though. I won't, that won't happen. And he pumps it somewhere you else. Wouldn't, you, <laughs> you wouldn't know as soon as that would happen. Anyways, guys, we'll see you in the next video. Until then, peace. Online coaching, guys. Anabolicalians.com. Later. Dave. Potato. <laughs> Fire me up! Fire me up, potato, potato! An example of how far back you should go is putting your hand on the back of your butt. And now on to the second exercise, the wide grip upright row. Now first off, I want to make it a point to say that 